music as we know it today produced by wind and stringed instruments is haram. Yes. It has entered upon us. We are inundated by it. You can't even go to the bathroom without hearing music. I mean, something I experienced in the West, but I also found it here. I went to a couple of bathrooms here and I heard music coming at me, piped in. What is the purpose of that? Make you hurry up and get back out and get back to buy or what? <laughs> it's a challenge. And we should be clear on this point. Because of course you have people who will say, Oh, Ibn Hazm. He said there are no authentic hadiths on music. And Sheikh, this one and that one said, Yeah. Music's okay. I listen to it. <laughs> but when we look at the tradition of the early scholars of Islam, they made all kinds of statements against it. And there are hadiths which are sound. This topic, we should research it and be clear on it. Not go according to what is pleasing to us. That shouldn't be our criterion. Because I like music. I like to hear those who say it's okay. Those who say it's not okay, I don't like to hear them. This is not our criterion. This power that music has over people where people end up loving it loving it more than they love the Quran this is their love for it and that is why even Attempts to replace it with an ashid. Okay? It started out innocently, but then the an ashid ended up like rock groups. The an ashid artist comes in, the smoke on the stage, and you know, he's, hey, what's the difference? It's gone right back to that same thing. And people will enjoy listening to Anashid. You turn on the Quran and say, hey, no, I want to hear this, uh, this artist or that artist. They feel more pleasure in hearing Anashid than hearing the Quran itself. What is that? What is that scale? What has happened here? This is real. As some scholars refer to music, they refer to it as the Quran of Shaitan. Satan's Quran. And it goes into the heart. And it occupies the heart. And when it occupies the heart, there's no room for the Quran of Allah. That's the reality. It squeezes it out. And how you can know how powerful and the grip that it has on the human heart, you can find it in the fact that if somebody plays two bars of a song which you didn't hear for 20 years, you heard it 20 years ago when you're a kid, but all you need to hear is just dun 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 dun. Ah! back in your head the whole song is there words everything it's all there like it never left that is the way it is this is real 
So when Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam warned us about it, he warned us about something which was dangerous. Dangerous for our souls. That's what Islam is there to do, to protect our souls. So, we have to divorce ourselves from this obsession. And no doubt it becomes an obsession. <laughs>